what's going on family we have a wedding style hope you're ready so at the start of this video you're gonna already see that I have like a ponytail established and not to worry I, I do this to a lot of the locks that I find to be thicker because I have a hard time with gathering one entire ponytail on thick hair uh, into one scrunchie so Again, I just find it easy sometimes to just break up the ponytail, break up the locks, and create two ponytails. Well, not necessarily two ponytails, but, you know, do the back portion, make sure those locks are straight, and then come up to the top to make sure that those locks are straight as well, and then just join it all together that way. That way, when you're, you know, concentrating on the top half, the bottom half isn't moving while you're trying to get the top straight. So because I use Obey the Hold guys, it allows me to style while the hair is considered wet. Um, her hair isn't wet by water, but it is dampened by the product. And I do this because I like to dry everything down in one wop. I don't like to disturb anything after the style is already established. So again, once you have everything gathered from the top, you're then going to grab the bottom and join it with the top to create one entire ponytail. So as you guys may have seen, I was literally grabbing one lock, like making sure that I could get those locks as straight as possible. And that is probably the hardest thing that you could do when you're establishing a ponytail. But once you straighten out all of those individual locks, you get a pretty sleek ponytail. So definitely take your time when you're doing a ponytail. It's funny because I tell people all the time, like this is the hardest style for me because I'm so anal when it, com when it comes to lines. And if I see something overlapping, like a lock overlapping another lock, I have to hurry up and straighten it out. So again, you guys, definitely take your time on your ponytails because even though they're so simple, they are so very complex and can in one little lock can throw off the entire design. So in this clip, you're going to see that I am now gathering her bun to get it out of the way so that I can begin curling it. Um, this is the part where you analyze your lines in your ponytail for the final time to ensure that everything is straight. Now because we're going to be going straight into curls after this, I like to cover the area that doesn't need water. So I'm going to be using water on her hair. Uh, Sometimes you could do a set that's a little less damp, but because she has starters, um, you'll find that a lot of the times they don't hold a curl as well as opposed to a fully matured lock because they aren't as dense. And you guys, when I say starters, I just mean anything that's not completely locked. And her hair is a little than uh, a little younger than a year. Uh, so I still consider that to be starters. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and prepare for her roller set. Um, I'm gonna be using the gray short perm rods and the gray long perm rods. Um, now, when you're rolling locks, it's pretty equivalent to rolling uh, normal hair. Uh, the only thing that you wanna make sure is that you wrap the end of the lock underneath the part that you're going to be rolling upward because that then locks it in so again just make sure that you tuck the end underneath the part that you're going to be rolling so that it can overlap the end and lock in i hope that makes sense you guys <laughs> As you guys can see she has different lengths uh, different thicknesses to her lock because again she's not completely locked but use it at your discretion on whether or not you're going to want to 
use one to two locks to a roll or just one lock depending on the thickness. Once you finish rotting her entire ponytail, I like to go in with a net to catch all of those fuzz hairs. Um, and again, because she isn't completely locked, her locks are more wild as opposed to someone who has had their locks for quite some time. So this aids in getting rid of a lot of that fuzz. Okay, family, so you definitely want to make sure that when you're doing a wet sit, that you sit the person underneath the dryer for an adequate amount of time. You don't want to rush this process. You always want to let your clients know, or even if it is yourself, you want to be made aware that you're going to be up under the dryer for a while because these curls, they have to be completely dry or you're going to come out with droopy curls. But as you see here, she is completely dry and she has that spring back that we're looking for to create the height in this ponytail. Now in this moment, you're going to want to fluff your ponytail, form your ponytail, and then begin to apply any bobby pins where you may see that some curls may be droopy or some curls could be higher. So this is where your creativity can flow freely to get the shape that you're going for for this bun. Accessory alert. Now, like I said, this is a wedding style, so make sure that your bride has an amazing piece to complement her style. Now, this one I had a little hard time getting in because I used those two scrunchies at the beginning, remember? But I was able to wiggle them in there and gently because I didn't want to pull on her hair. So really, the brooch is sitting more into the curls than lying up against the scalp. So now I'm just going to fluff the curls yet again and then secure the brooch with a open mouth hairpin. Now this is a moment that the both of you can appreciate because you slayed this hairstyle and you made your bride look beautiful for her big day. So definitely taking those angles, go over the hairstyle one last time, make sure that everything is where you want it to be. Okay, so my last step was to apply an additional knit to the curls because my bride wasn't getting married until the following day. So to ensure that this hair stays in place through a shower, through, you know, sleep without disturbing the shape of the bun, we're going to add those extra bobby pins and that extra hair net. She also has the option to keep this on during the ceremony and during the reception if she doesn't want her hair to move and it won't. All in all, I hope that you guys enjoyed this wedding edition. And if you'd like to see more content like this or any other style, go ahead and send it to my email address and let's see if I can execute it. Talk to you soon.